How's it going everybody? Jared here for the Smoking Android once again. Uh, today we're going to be showing you how to install the new Clockwork Mod Recovery Touch uh, on your Android device. And um, I know that there's already been a, f um, the previous version was 5.8.0.2 as you can see right there. And today we're going to be downloading the newest version which is 5.8.1.8. Uh, so, if you don't already have Clockwork uh, Recovery Touch, then what are you waiting for? <laughs> so let's go ahead and get started. So what you're going to do is, obviously you're going to go to the link that I'm going to post in the description below. It'll take you to this XDA thread. XDA member Sublime Josh 2000 big shout out goes to him for bringing this to everybody's attention. Thank you very much. As well as to Koosh for developing this for everybody's uh, flashing enjoyment. Um, so what you're going to do, obviously, once you go to the link and you're presented with this screen here, uh, you're going to go ahead and click on the top one, the top zip there, the 5.8.1.8, and you're going to just either figure out how to get it on your SD card, either you know using your device and just downloading it straight through the XDA app itself, or just download this onto your PC and push it to your SD card. And let's go ahead and take a look at what we're going to do once it's on your SD card. Alright, so you've got the .zip file loaded on your SD card, so what we're going to go ahead and do now is uh, reboot into recovery mode. So, um, depending on the ROM you're running, obviously, um, you know, you can either select uh, reboot and then get into recovery, like that, uh, or we're going to do it the old-fashioned way for us Motorola Atrix users. And go ahead and power off the device for all of you. Alright, so now that your device is powered off, we're going to go ahead for the Motorola Atrix, uh, press your power button and hold the volume down until the green light comes on. Let go of the power button, still holding down volume rocker down, whatever, until that comes up. And then what we're going to do is go ahead and keep going down until you find Android Recovery. Alright, and then click volume rocker up. Alright, so now that we've rebooted into recovery, what we're going to go ahead and do is, um, and obviously because you're just flashing over the previous one, as you can see, um, I'm on the old version, 5.8.0.2, and what we're going to do is uh, click on install zip from SD card, again, choose zip from SD card, I'll zoom in here for you guys a little bit more, and there we go. And uh, we're going to go ahead and locate the file that uh, we had loaded onto our SD card. It should be near the bottom here. There it is. Uh, touch recovery 5.8.1.8 and we're going to go ahead and click on that. And then you're going to click yes to confirm. That'll take just a moment to install. Alright, so uh, now you're not done. We're going to go ahead and click go back. And then we're going to click on uh, advanced and then reboot recovery. And what this is going to do is just basically reboot you right back into recovery again. And we should see the latest version um, number at the top. And so here we are. Uh, we've rebooted into recovery and now it has obviously changed to version 5.8.1.8. The latest version of Clockwork Mod Recovery Touch. So there you go ladies and gentlemen. Go ahead and flash away. You now have, if you haven't already before, a fully working touch recovery. Uh, which is really handy and it's been you know, probably giving my volume rockers a break. <laughs> Alright guys, hope you like this video. Uh, give us a thumbs up please if you did and if you found it was helpful. Uh, make sure you subscribe for more videos like this in the future. Uh, as always, I am Jared and until next time, the Smoking Android signing out.